from MaxMeDIY.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a GFI outlet that you're going to find. You'd find in your garage, you find them in your kitchen, bathroom, you know those outlets that have the little buttons on it. Some have lights, some don't. Well, it's a ground fault protector. Uh, they're real important if you're around wet areas such as a pool, even a kitchen and such. So, let's get going and I'll take this outlet apart and show you what's all involved. All right. Well, one of the things you want to make sure before you end up taking any outlet apart is make sure that you turn the power off at the panel. That's real important that you do that. Otherwise, uh, although that outlet may not be working, rest assured you have some power behind it. Now, we went ahead and did that. Now, the, the best way to understand a GFI outlet is to know what we're doing in the back here. And this is all uh, 12 gauge wire for a 20 amp circuit, so it's pretty stiff. Now, I know it's kind of hard to see on the video, but in here I see that on the bottom of this GFI outlet we have line, and the other one is marked load. Well, line simply means this is the power coming in from your panel or from another outlet, usually from the panel, depending on the age of the house. Power in, then power out. So what this is doing, this is powering another outlet somewhere in the house. Now being that it's going through the, out, the GFI outlet here, that other outlet does not have to be a GFI outlet because it's protected from this one. So if you have that outlet in the house and you don't know why you don't have power and you can't figure it out, well, that's what I tell people. Well, go look for a GFI outlet and see if you have power to it. And if you don't, see if if it's tripped. If it's tripped, just hit the button and give it a, give it a try. Now, on a GFI outlet, it's not as easy as a regular outlet, which I have one here for you. Power simply comes in. They are bridged together. If you look close enough in here, you'll see that that's actually connected. So it doesn't go through the outlet. It just acts as a connection here for the next outlet. But, like I said, it goes in, then comes back out. If, you're all, if you were able to open up a GFI outlet, you would see there's an actual circuit board in there, there's electronics in here that really dictates what's going on. So, I mean, obviously, uh, this outlet, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just simply taking it out to show you. So you have your, your white wires are your neutral, and your black wire, that's your power. This is the one that it's given the power. Now, once your circuit leaves the panel, well, your ground and your neutral are pretty much the same exact wire, but the black wire is not. Uh, but again, in the panel, they're two different, tar entirely different things. So we're going to go ahead and put this back together here. Of course, the ground goes on the ground screw that you have on any GFI outlet. Again, it's very, very important. Now, a regular outlet, yeah, sure, you can cross these wires, do whatever you want, don't put the ground in it, you go plug something in, eh, it's going to work. But on a GF out, GFI outlet, everything is, has to be 100% unless it won't work. So your ground, your neutral, and your power wire. Now, if you just had just one outlet, you didn't have an, uh, all the wires coming off, they're going to another one, you're always still going to use line. Always, always, always. If you connect it to load, well, you're going to have a problem. You burn out the GFI outlet, it's not going to work. I'm going to go ahead and stuff all these wires back in here nice and carefully. Again, making sure this ground wire stays far away from any of the other wires, especially the black ones. I went ahead and put the outlet back together. I turned the power on at the panel. But before we, we test it and see how we're doing, I want to show you this real important very nice tool. You get it like in any, any electrical supply, any of the home centers. It's a, it's a GFI outlet tester. Now they have other ones without this button on it and that's fine to make sure your wiring is correct but you still won't know if that GFI outlet is really truly functioning. I, you know, uh, they make a few different ones of these where the, the patterns are a little bit different. Um, I actually have a few of them and both of them are, are different. So you really have to watch uh, little color codes here, little, little circles that are ticked off that will explain to you if something is wrong. If it's right here, I mean, I know it's kind of hard to see on the video, it says correct. 
Well, that means these two orange lights right here are going to light up. And this red one here will not light up. But if it does, you can look and it will tell you what you did wrong with the wiring. So let's go ahead and plug that right in. Let me show you. Oh, there's still no power. Oh, of course. Got the little trip button here, your protection. Let's go ahead and push that. Hey, look at that. Two orange lights lit. So that's telling me the wiring that I did was 100%. It's perfect, as I explained it to you. But we have that little button here. Well, of course, we're, we're putting a GFI outlet in. We're putting it in for a reason, for protection for your kids, yourself, uh, and even just pure code. So on the button, we're going to hit this little button. When we do, the outlet should trip. So you should hear a little click, and this button would pop out. But again, not every GFI outlet looks the same, but they still operate the same. So let's go ahead and push that. Yep, look at that. Lights went out, telling us we have no power. Our button on the GFI outlet tripped. So we, now we have no power there, and that's, uh, that's exactly what we're supposed to do. So I'll go ahead and reset that so they have power when they get home. Oh, right. well, as I showed you, I had to replace the GFI outlet and to test it. The one thing I didn't show you is to check for power. So once you pull that outlet out, get a real tester, you know, two little wires, whatever, and make sure you don't have power going to that. Unfortunately, I didn't have one of them with me today, and I wanted to get this video out to a user that could really need it. Um, so anyway, um, thanks for watching, and come to my site, xmediy.com, where I have more step-by-step -step instructions of how to replace the GFI outlet without getting shot. Thanks for watching.